to get some breakfast for the win. No, not for the win. At the win. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. I'm over here, dude. <laughs> Uh, that's I don't know what's going on. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm guessing they don't have any self-serve beverages here. Uh, no, 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 just bring them to us. Okay. Yeah. That's what you asked. What you wanted to drink? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Water is fine. I just uh, I hadn't thought of, thought ahead. Oh. All right. Um... All right. Well, I'll go ahead and start the buffet tour if you wanted to get started yourself there. Yeah. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Uh, we, we can always start with the plate. The mirrors are throwing me. <laughs> don't worry about the mirrors. All right, Spinners and Sharks, I'm going to go ahead and get started then. Uh, honey, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. All right. Where to start, where to start, where to start. All right, what do we have on the buffet over here? Looks like we've got some... Ooh, oysters on the half shell over here. All right, I don't think they had that last time, so this is a buffet brunch. This looks pretty good. And they also have some... Let's see what else is hanging around over here. So we've got some sushi. We've got eel rolls and spicy salmon roll. And, ooh, a salmon lox roll. Might partake in a bit of that. I got the eel roll, because I do love eel. Try one of those, and I'll try one of the spicy lox rolls, too. So that'll be good. And, of course, you guys know Ace of Vegas is a shrimp monster, so we're loading up that uh, shrimp cocktail over here. All day. So there's some big-ass shrimp, too, I'll tell you. There you go. They have some capers to go with it, too. Excuse me? And Atlantic no smoked salmon, too. No bagel. So you can get proper bagels and locks going there. I'll just go ahead and take a take one of these. For the lemons. And enjoy that. I don't think they have the cocktail sauce out, though. I'm going to have to see about the cocktail Oh, there's the cocktail sauce. So I have to reach in and grab the cocktail sauce. All right, all right, all right. There we go. So it looks like it's going to be a seafood brunch for me. And they have even more... Oh, it looks like they have Cali rolls. So sorry about the glare there, guys. Uh, so they've got the spicy tuna, shrimp tempura, and the Cali roll, too. So lots of sushi today. Um, lots? Yeah, lots of seafood. Smoked trout and prosciutto and then uh, olive and all that. So got some uh, tofu made up and all that. So if you get a vegetarian spouse like I do, you can have some tofu. Let's go ahead and move on. A, very, a lot of Asian stations over here, so they got some dim sum and then uh, some other chicken pot stickers and egg rolls and all that too. And some kung ghee too, pork kung ghee. It's good stuff. Oh, and they got the uh, chicken wings too, so they got sesame chicken wings that we can have. So I'll add that to the, add that to the stack too. With a little bit of kimchi fried rice, I think I'll get a little scoop of fried rice too while I'm at it. Uh, I think the traditional uh, North American style breakfast stuff is a little farther down, so we'll keep going there. What do we got here? Okay, traditional American breakfast stuff. We've got scrambled eggs and whites, and the sausage links, and bacon. I think I'll take a link pork sausage over here. Hopefully it's a bit better than the uh, pork sausage was over at... Uh, or the chicken sausage over at Bellagio. Going really good this, this time around. Oh, and we got the carvery. What do we got over here? So we got the prime rib. We got the New York strip. We got sausage and beef ribs and all that too. Oh, oh man, this is looking really great. They got hollandaise sauce here. and Oh, yep, they got the ham. Pardon me, oh, he's gone. Oh, honey cloves on the ham, turkey gravy. Hey, boss, how about a, how about a slice of ham there? Nice little stack on there, thank you. Good deal. And also got some turkey. Hey, boss, I'll trade spots here. And barbecue rotisserie chicken, too. Lovely. Good deal. This looks great. So that was the left side of the breakfast favorites, the right side of the breakfast favorites. We got the chickpea stew. We got sugar snap peas. Uh, whipped truffle mashed potatoes there. And that's definitely going to get a spot. Spot on the list there. Get some whipped up, whip up some of those mashed potatoes there. Add some of that mash. That's delicious. I'm not gonna be hungry for hours. And of course, I got crispy fried chicken, and then all the usual breads too. I don't see the wine tastings, but we also have some poached eggs and eggs Benedict. Pardon us. 
Looks like some fresh hash browns too. And what else we got going on over here? There's also a breakfast griddle. So you can have your own breakfast griddle. My man, what's up? That's pretty dope. And let's see what else they have. Belgian waffles. And then they have blintzes and brioche French toast. So I'll have to come back for that on the second round. And oh, they got pepper bacon breakfast sliders right on. So it's a corned beef breakfast slider. Let's go ahead and get that. If I can get around the... There it is. That's a good stack right now. Uh, they also have three cheese mac and cheese, which is great for brunch and rigatoni with the penny and meatballs. Good stuff. I'm trying to get that Italian pronunciation down. Not digging. And then we got some uh, pizza over here. It looks like all of it came out fresh out the oven. They have smoked salmon pizza, which fish on pizza, I just don't do it. And uh, anchovies, no anchovies on this thing. And salumi pizza, so good stuff. And what else we got over here? We got, ooh, crab frittatas, and then fish and chips, proper fish and chips. Looks a little dry, I might get that a little later. And oh, is that is that lobster eggs benedict? Yeah. Oh, lobster eggs benedict. And salmon too, all right. All right, that's for round two. Oh, they're making it in a fresh batch? I won mine fresh. All right, let's get it fresh, man. It's good, good call, good call. And then we got the miso soup over here, cod fritters. And of course they have the lovely wine tasting meats and cheeses over here. Little muffins and bread. See, I never get the bread and muffins at the buffets. I'm really big bread guy anyway. And all the cube cheeses and all that. So that looks pretty delicious. And of course they have all the classic breakfast stuff too. Grits and oatmeal. But they also have vegan corn chatter and chicken noodle soup. So this is like perfect. This is like a perfect balance of everything. And they got mock tea, mock tea green tea. Oh, that's good stuff. And fresh juices too. So I can get some orange juice or coconut strawberry juice. And then they got you make the all the fix-ins for your grits or for your uh, oatmeal more accurately. And then a little bit of something for the salads if you want to make a breakfast salad. And what else do we have? Ancient grain salad, autumn cob, and they got the pre-mixed salads over here too. All right, well, I got myself a pretty full plate, so I'm pretty covered on this side. I'm gonna start walking back, but while I'm over here, I might check out the desserts. So if you're the type of person like my spouse is, you are a breakfast for, uh, dessert for breakfast person, and this place has you hooked up. I mean, we got citrix charts, berry cheesecake, peppermint cones, eggnog, uh, is that eggnog tiramisu? It is, oh my God, pardon me? And then we also got meringues and all that, so you can get meringues in non-pie form. And look at that, candied apples, just everything. And I'm thinking that this is all a fresh sorbet, too. This all, I might be frozen, so well, I guess all sorbet is frozen, so shame on me for saying that. And then little chocolate-dipped snacks, too. They have the whole ice cream machine over here. Gonna have to show that one to Wendy, because I don't think she's seen it yet. Oh, pardon me. see what else I got on the other side here. Oh, lots of desserts. They got that cherry, chocolate cherry mousse there, too. Blast ran out of space on the plate. You're going to have to come back later. And apple pies, too. So the same type of desserts that they have at dinner time, they also have here at breakfast time. So that's pretty awesome. More crepes. And you get crepes made to order. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the fruit dessert crepes, which is good stuff. And, of course, they have the cookies... And then the other little baked goods, some bread pudding and apple pie, of course, to top it all out. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for the buffet. Now it's time for the taste tests. All right. Good stuff. All right, honey. What do you think? Final thoughts? Final thoughts? Final thoughts. This it was better than Bellagio. I like Bellagio, but it was a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, so variety, especially for a vegetarian, what do you think? There was less variety for a vegetarian. Yep. It was pretty meat heavy, but I still found some stuff. Their mac and cheese was topped. So yep. Had three servings of that. Um, their rice, their veggie rice was good. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. What else? I didn't have as much in the way of dessert, but what I had, the, the mousse was, was very tasty, yep. very dense. It was surprising because you're usually the you're usually the dessert monster. Yeah, I was trying to pace myself right. after yesterday's mistake. <laughs> Someone might have overdone it. 
Not gonna tell you who. <laughs> you as well. It wasn't me. Because <laughs> uh, we both went up to Terry's and took a nap. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I was there. Um, well, yeah, I, yeah, I remember everything being uh, pretty good over here. I definitely would say... Uh, I think Wynn's definitely got a pretty great breakfast buffet. I'd venture to say that their breakfast and, and lunch buffet over here is better than their dinner one, if you ask me. Like, the dinner one, um, it, it was it was really good. It, it lived up to the hype, but I think it might still be just a little overrated. Did you have any of the stuff from the griddle? Uh, no, I did. I did make it over to the to the pancake station, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to do pancakes next time. Um, so that'll be that'll be a thing. Maybe maybe when we come back in March, that'll yeah. be good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So if you're talking out of five, what would you what would you, you say it is? I give it a four out of five. Definitely four out of five, yeah, not out of five. Reason, the only reason why I don't give it five is just completely from my perspective as a vegetarian, there's not being that much. It's very meat heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, but what they did have, the veggie options they didn't did have were very good. So. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a carnivore. Definitely had a had a pretty great time here. Uh, the pork, uh, not their strongest bit. If you go for something, go for go for chicken or go for beef or something like that. Uh, go for the seafood. Their seafood's very strong here. So I'd uh, I'd go for that over anything else. I think the only gripe I had is that they didn't have crab this time. And you, you really like the shrimp this time. You got two servings of that. Yeah. That I saw. Yeah, the, yeah, the shrimp was uh, really good. It was. I didn't think it was that good at uh, at dinner time last time I was here. It was just kind of like okay shrimp. I thought uh, Arya had better shrimp, but this time it looks like they kind of pulled out all the stops and all. So they stepped up their shrimp game too. So that's actually really great. So I'm really excited about that. All right, cool, cool. Well, let's go ahead and. Uh, oh, did you want to go check out the pool? Yeah. All right, all right, let's go to the pool. Well, on that bombshell, Spinners and Sharks, it's Vegas, it's signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, it's Vegas. Viva, it's Vegas. Viva, it's Vegas.